What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Okay guys, we got the brand new patch. It is out and ready to roll and we've got it with it some new things to look at. So we're going to talk about everything that is this new upcoming patch plus some of the characters that are out and maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do a summon here and there. I haven't decided whether I want to do that yet or not based on the characters because I have to first get the devs to give me a test environment so I can freaking test these units before I tell you guys whether it's worth summoning or not. But first off, the big news here, guys, is going to be that the brand new Valkyries Bestowal 777 summons is back out again. If you are an OG player or someone who played in the past and you've completed your summons, you obviously have to wait the two days and seven hours, which is the 12th day for, I guess... I've been playing for longer than that. Clearly, most of you have as well, too. So we just have to wait two more days, and then these will unlock. The cool thing about this is it just gives us a lot more fragments as well, and you have a chance to summon any unit in this pool. So kudos again to the devs for making that happen. That's an awesome, awesome thing. Another thing I want to talk about real quick, of course, is going to be the new heroes that are like released now, I guess. So if you look here, we have... And i got to update the tier list, guys. i got to add Catherine to it as well too but i'm going to do it at the same time janna now obviously is already on the tier list and now we have this sexy little beast and her name is portia so i did a quick review on her when her skills were shown in the facebook post but what we'll do here is we're going to look at her one more time and kind of see if she's going to be worth summoning for so portia is one of the core warriors of the ethereal synergy who is good at attacking backline enemies increasing crit damage based on the number of debuffs on the target so let's take a look at her skills so portia attacks the backline enemy dealing up to 406 physical damage see now we didn't have the percentages before now we do it makes a pretty big difference 406 percent is pretty damn high and then here, Portia attacks the frontline enemies, dealing up to 144% of physical damage. And then the passive here, at the start of each round, Portia summons a Vanguard, inherits 50% of her stats in an empty allied slot. The Vanguard attacks a single enemy, dealing 50% physical damage, and self-destructs upon death. Dealing damage to all enemies equal to 200% of her attack, she can summon up to four vanguards, okay? And then lastly, Navigator. When Portia receives healing, the excess healing of 2% will be converted into attack. The total converted amount cannot exceed 40% of her attack. Now, why is this important? A lot of people may be like, why the hell is she getting this? Let me break it down for you. So when you have Mastima, Karnak, again, just putting teams together, Katrina, and let's say Dorabella and one other, right? Let's say Porsche, obviously. It's going to be the team. So Katarina is going to offer a pretty hefty shield. The Royals buff gives you a shield. And then on top of that, you're going to recover that shield often. And when Karnak attacks and Mastima attacks, especially with his, I think it's his runes, you get healing from that alone, from any crit that you do. So she's going to get an excessive amount of overheals, which will boost her attack up pretty substantially. So she's going to be a pretty big force to be reckoned with, to be quite honest with you. Now, with her talents, you can see here she is a Dawnbringer, right? So she is going to be a powerful unit there to have. And then, of course, this is how you unlock her second passive, which is which is the, the crit rate by 15% and then crit res rate by 15%. So very important to note that. And then also keeping in mind that her runes here, let's take a quick look at what they are. So if you get her right here, for each stack of debuff on the target, Portia attacks her crit damage increase by five up to 30%. Holy, that's crazy. And this is 100%. So if you get her like her red ones, like these ones here, it's 100% extra crit damage. She's going to be a heavy hitter late game. Unfortunately, it does take quite a bit to get her there. So it, I don't know how, how long that's going to take. I mean, most, of the, most people know it takes forever to get those red ones. But overall, guys, very happy with this unit. Good release. I'm probably going to summon for her. I don't know if I have enough. I don't even think I have any synergy. I think she can only be summoned from synergy at the moment. So I don't think I have any synergy tokens left. I was using them to get someone else recently. So I'll probably have to hold off until I get some of those available to us. So let me quickly go to the Valkyrie, the Valkyrie Manor. I think Illular also has a new outfit, if I'm correct, right? They were supposed to add a new one for her. So let's go back here, interact. Let's see her her change of clothes. She does. Unlocks at favor 20. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what we can get here, guys. We're going to try to push this all the way through. I've been, I've been trying to save up a little bit, but I've also been kind of just trying to get my, my mana up to get more stats, right? But 
I kind of regret now not saving more. I tried to get everybody 15 across the board, and I was like, oh, I'm going to regret this later. So you guys can see now the regret's kind of setting in because I want to get that costume. Okay, so we got 16. I don't think I'll be able to push the 20. I'll, I'll be like maybe 8, 17, 18 because I have some saved. Let me just go back in here and show you guys what I'm talking about. So like I've been buying these, obviously, every day. And you guys should be doing that as well, by the way. We got these. Let's go mystery shop real quick and see if we have any more I can get from here because sometimes you can get yourself buy these for sure you can get yourself some pretty decent ones like the green ones uh, we'll get that as well I hate, I hate missing on those there we go some green ones okay we got one there 50% uh, that's a good price let's see uh, 70 yeah okay that's not bad oh I need this for sure one sec let me buy this out guys I'm like getting out of gold is so easy now with the amount of en enchantment that needs to happen okay so this is this is unfortunate. I, w I want to buy these, but I don't have enough of the. Um, oh, jeez. Uh, I don't have enough um, diamonds now to go through it all. So that's unfortunate. So let's see. Anything else I can buy here, real quick? No, I'm going to probably save up for some units. Okay. So, I mean, let's open them up. So we know she likes jewelry mostly, right? So let's go and give her this. I believe she's all about that, Max. So there's six of those. She likes, it's weird that she likes jewelry, considering that she's a, she's like the, the battle Valkyrie. You'd imagine she liked the war axe and all that stuff, but it's, I mean, it is what it is. She likes all these. Okay, let's see what, let's see how far this will take her, guys. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get that that far. Oh, here, hold on. Let's get this too. Sorry, I'm being a little distracted here while doing other things. I just haven't had a chance to come in here and do all this. So there we go. And between the two of these, I should probably work on him. So I'm going to probably go for this. Dullahan, let's go. That's the second one. Okay, so let's go back. Valkyrie Manor. Let's see how far we can push her new costume. Or to her new costume. I think maybe, like, it looks like we'll hit 17 for sure, obviously. Like, that's that's a given. Maybe 18. So it's going to take a few more days, I think, of maxing this out. At least the manor is getting up there, right? Now, I could... No, I'm not going to do it. I was going to say, I could probably push by using all of these other items but it's not worth it because you're eventually going to get more costumes for your other units. So it's not a rush. Like it's just a costume. I mean, it does make a difference. I'm assuming it's going to be a fairly hefty increase in stats. Uh, not actually not too much. It's not too much. It's a good looking costume though. So close to 18 guys. So there you guys go. We opened up her biography here so we can read a little more. I won't read this to Runa for you guys. You guys can get there yourselves. Story wise, we have another one here. Let's see what this does. Again, don't need you guys to be reading because I don't want to ruin it for you. I'm just going to fast forward. I can read this anytime on my own. I'm sorry, guys. If some of you guys wanted me to read this, it's not happening. There's 200 gems right there, right? And then here's the Night Confessions one. What is the reward? Ten, 10 summons. Okay. Okay. And I don't think anybody else got any new outfits, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's just her. All right, guys. So those I think those are the big things. What else do we get? Oh, nice. We got another production. Um, I think that's pretty much the big things. Let me just quickly see the notice. Was there, I guess the notice is gone. I know we can now skip, for example, we can skip the Northern Expedition events here, right? So that can be now skipped, which is good. The the not the non-boss one, so like 5, 10, etc. You can skip those instantly. I believe now also with Celestial Trials, you no longer have to wait for a specific turn to skip as well you can just actually instantly skip here so let me just see if this works as well too so some good quality of life things yeah there you go it's, a, it's an instant skip that's good so that, that's skippable now and uh let me just see something here recommended recommended do we have everyone recommended here my steam is the only one that's non-recommended see if we can do it with Catherine. i might be able to pull this off with her nope <laughs> not at all okay um it sucks because like i have everything I, like i have all this hmm what if i take nyx out no so having see that then i lose my my holy shield which is a huge part and a counter as well i take her out and i add him in but then i lose the damage see like that's it's, it's a tricky little situation we're in here so I might add her back in. Where does she go? There we go. See if this works. 
This actually might work a little better. Ooh, much closer. Much, much closer. So let's just do that again. This actually might be better off. Ooh, that was bad RNG in that one. And you guys know, I don't know if you guys know this, but the clear records here, you guys can use this as well, right, to finish it. So if you like quick deploy this, for example, you might be able to just use that and finish it off using that same setup right there. Right? See, look, at look, that was close. That was very, very close. It's just going to take a little bit of RNG to complete this. But I'm glad the skip button works. Overall, guys, good update, good quality of life. There we go. Completed 44. So now we can move on to 45. Right? Beauty. Beauty. What do we use here? Minions? Is that, is that what we did? Let's see, clear record here on this one. Yeah, make sure you guys are using this, right? It's, it's actually a really good tool. The skip button is obviously great, but that clear record tool is really, really nice to have. There you go, another one. See? So I know a lot of you guys were looking for guides on, on terms of how to beat this, but to be quite frank, you've got quite a few people who have completed most of this content. Just use the, the clear deployed button there and see what people have done to finish it. And you guys can push these floors even further, right? So I'm going to be focusing on Celestial Trials for quite some time. I don't remember if there was... Let me just go back to the Discord, guys, and, and just see if there's anything else that I'm missing here from the announcement section. I don't think I am, but I just want to make sure that I'm not forgetting something that I, you know, that we should be kind of focusing on here. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. So they did... The seven, the seven, seven, seven's back. We know that the relic balance. Uh, we are introducing a new feature called legendary relic link skills. These link skills will provide enhanced effects to specific heroes when connected to them. Oh, okay. Let's go check that out real quick. How come I didn't? I don't remember that. Okay, so here's the legendary relic. How do you link it to somebody now? Ultimate. Oh, link skill. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Okay. So let me get this straight. Is the only link skill for Doomsdayers? No way. What about Ethereals? They have no linkage? What? That's crazy talk. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I got this specifically because it was for Ethereal as well. So that kind of sucks. Okay, well, I mean, it is what it is. That's also there, so let's see what else. Abyss, Abyss Crusade now can be challenged, uh, adding a new chat feature, which shows you the teams, which is cool. Optimized content related to chapters, uh, chapter two. Expanded the ruin inventory limit. The total login now extended to 180. New Illular outfit, uh, sorry, Illular outfit. Optimized HP bond mechanism, um, which we, we can look at. Now the super value rotations, um, now has Mastema changed. Oh, okay, so they have a new rotation for Oracles, I believe. So let's go to the regular shop for a sec. So I think this now has a different, different redeem points for the Oracle shop. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. They added Karnak in here. Victoria's in here. Dullahan is new. I mean, no, sorry. These guys are already here. Sorry. Dullahan is new, and I wish, I wish that was new. There you go. So some new units have been added as well, too. So that's kind of cool. That's actually really cool. Okay, so now we have more options to choose some of these units through this shop. And again, regarding Portia, if I recall, her summon has to be through Synergy. And again, I don't think I have anything Synergy related, but let's take a quick look here. If we look at Synergy, look at here. If we see here, you can pro there she is. There she is. She's in there. I don't think she's in this pool. I'm pretty sure she's not in this pool. I could be wrong, but I'm going to double check right now. Uh, let's see if we can find her. It's a pretty obvious looking girl. Yeah, she's not in here. So it's got to be done through Synergy, which really sucks. If you don't have Synergy tokens, you're kind of SOL. And I don't have any. So that's going to be rough. So I'm going to have to summon for her some other time. Um, this is Pain. Honestly, good update. There's a lot of good things that they've added here. And I'm hoping that we see additional additional quality of life things added in the future i'm excited to see the brand new abyss crusade when it comes out but for now happy with the results great job devs all right guys i'll talk to you guys in the next one take care